all right so let us continue with the table coding okay html tag body i am taking the bg color as gray okay so i am starting with the table tag border equal to 4 my next attribute is border color i am taking border color as yellow okay fine and i am taking a line attribute inside the table with the value center vishan we are in the class a line attribute when taken inside the table it will bring the entire table in the center you can also practice on the pc change your seat and do practice on the pc all of you type parallel with me on your pc offline class shift back one please all the offline students please practice the coding side by side type the coding on your pc so i have taken the align attribute inside the table tag and it uh, signifies that it will bring the entire table in the center of the web page okay when i am taking a line attribute in table tag it will have no effect on the data of the table it will have no effect on the data of the table okay fine so continuing with first row my first row is the header row okay and uh, i am taking the background color of my header row as pink since i am going to create the header row so i'll be taking here th tag right my first uh, option here is item id right then my second is item name then in the third row i am taking price and in the fourth row i am taking gst okay here i close the tr tag now this is my header row i have taken the header row over here and uh, header row is having four cells right so this row will automatically appear bold and it will be automatically centrally aligned the header row has two inbuilt features it is automatically centrally aligned and it is bold okay you don't have to apply the align attribute if you want to make it center because by default it is already center aligned then coming to the second row here i am particularly using the align attribute and since this is my normal row so i'll be taking here td cell td okay td means table data it is used to create data cells in the table right so first option first value i am giving 101 second i am giving rice third is the price i am giving 350 and uh, gst i am giving 1.5% okay so here i close the second row i have given gst in percentage okay so i have added the percentage symbol along with it clear online class up till here am i clear to all of you any questions any doubt up till here all right now 
selecting this very row, copy pasting it. One zero two. It is wheat. Price I am taking four fifty. GST I am taking one point eight percent. Okay. Then again I am copy pasting. It is one zero three. I am taking here biscuits and uh, price I am taking two hundred. And GST, I am taking one point two percentage. Then I am creating one last row over here, and I am taking oil. I am taking one zero five zero, and GST I am giving two point zero percentage. Okay, so here I am closing the table tag. Here I am closing the body tag, and here I am closing the HTML tag. All right. So let us save this coding and see the browser view. Tenth D. Tables to dot HTML. Documents, tenth D table two. This is the coding. Open with Google Chrome. All of you, check the browser view. please check the browser view is the browser view visible online class navya jia gitanshu divyansh is the browser view visible to you all all right any questions any doubt up till here any questions any doubt yes how many of you are typing parallel with me okay so you can see from the browser view that uh, header row is automatically bold i didn't applied the bold tag here okay i have a question offline and online i have a question i have a line please listen the question stop your typing all of you pay attention to the question and raise your hand for the answer don't give the mass answering okay i have a sentence i am studying in swami sant das public school okay i want to make this text appear bold but i do not want to use the b tag i don't want to use the b tag bold tag b tag what other option i have by which i can present my sentence in bold form if i don't want to go with heading no css no heading no bold tag there is one more tag which has same functioning as bold strong strong tag okay strong tag remember the logical textiles that we did before vacations strong tag okay okay uh, which tag is used to 
set the audio file audio tag which tag is used inside the audio tag to specify the path of the file yes online class which tag is used inside the audio tag to specify the path of the audio file yes please ऑडियो टैग के अंदर कौन सा टैग यूज करते हैं और ऑडियो फाइल का सारा पाथ हम मेंशन करते हैं यस एनीबडी फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन क्लास भानु कम ऑन द वीडियो एंड गिव द आंसर भानु प्रताप एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू Yes, please uh, come on the video and give the answer to the question. Which tag is used inside the audio tag to specify the path of the file? Unmute yourself, Manu. Sir, source. Yes, yes, very right, excellent. It is source tag. Offline class, pay attention to whatever I am asking. this is your revision source tag source tag is used inside the audio tag in order to specify the path of the audio file all right uh, which type of extensions are valid for the audio file yes which type of file formats are supported jpg is audio file try to listen the question first o dot ogg dot mp3 w av okay and any one extension supported for video file dot mp4 okay dot ogg or, or and dot uh, uh, wmv gif is graphic interchange format it is image uh, file format GIF, JPG, PNG, PNG is portable network graphics. GIF is graphic interchange format. JPG is joint photographic expert group. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the full form of SGML? Standard Generalized Markup Language. Standard Generalized Markup Language. Okay, who develop HTML? Tim Berner Lee. In which year? Nineteen ninety. Very right. Very good. Okay. Uh, one attribute which is common between uh, image and HR. Width and align. Width and align. one attribute which is common between paragraph tag and heading element align uh text is attribute of which tag body body okay which of the following is not an attribute of image tag border height width border color border color border color is not an attribute of image tag it is an attribute of table tag okay uh, which of the following is an empty tag head head tag title tag body tag input tag input tag is an empty tag okay uh, which of the following is not a valid attribute of form tag target action method name name which of the following is an attribute of input element id name value all above all above uh, which tag is used to create the password html form tag input tag body tag 
input tag input tag is used to create the password okay what are all the objects that we create in form known as controls they are known as controls okay which is the multi line box which is the multiple line box text area and which is the single entry box text box which option enables the user to select only one option from the given alternatives radio radio button and which control helps to select more than one option check box okay which is circular in shape radio button which is square in shape check box okay got it online class revision is okay have you got it all right back to the table coding now all of you come on the table tag and uh, i'll be making one change over here so all of you observe that change kartike uh we have attribute border we have attribute border color and you have just seen that border color given comes around the table in the browser view okay now instead of border color i am giving attribute border color light it is one single word a uh, no attribute in html have space and underscore border color light is one single name i am giving yellow next i am having border color dark i am giving red border color light and border color dark so there are four attributes that are related to border itself border border color border color light border color dark check it out now as per the browser view border color light attribute is used to specify the color for top edge and the left edge of the border border color light is used to specify the color for the top and the left side of the border and uh, border color dark it is used to specify the color for right and the bottom side of the table okay am i clear it is used to specify the color for the right and for the bottom side of the table clear am i clear to all then uh click before the border attribute and i want to specify the background color for the table i am giving the background color as silver i am giving the background color of the table as silver check it table background color is silver body background color is gray am i clear to all any question any doubts 
accordingly you uh, practice on your pc make all the possible changes that i have done so by now we have covered 1 2 3 4 5 six attributes of a table tag okay am i clear online class then you can specify the background color of each individual row okay check it i have set the individual color of every row by applying the bg color attribute inside every tr tag okay you very much want to disturb everyone in the lecture and set your mask properly yes online class any doubt up till here now suppose we have any common entry in two cells like suppose uh, the first cell the gst of first item is the same as gst of second item gst of first item is 1.5 gst of second item is also 1.5 so that means we are to write 1.5% here 1.5% here instead of this we can merge them we can merge them combine them and uh, instead of typing the multiple entry we can type only single entry right this feature can be accomplished by spanning across rows or spanning across columns what we called is row span and call span okay right now you see carefully that uh, i have 1.5 here i have 1.5 in the next row for last cell of the first row is going to be merged with the last cell of the second row okay so we are to merge them vertically we are to merge them vertically so this will be the case of row span this will be the case of row span so what we will do see the lcd all of you leave your typing work and pay attention to the lcd click in the opening td tag of the cell where you want to apply the row span and call span feature row span and call span attribute is only available in td and th this attribute is not available in table tag neither it is available in the tr tag you can only use it inside td or th so i am taking here row span equal to 2 since it is going two cells down it is combining two cells so the value of row span will be 2 okay am i clear and since the last cell of this row already merged with the last cell of this row so this cell will be eliminated from here second row ka last cell 
ऑलरेडी थर्ड रो के लास्ट सेल से कंबाइन हो चुका है और वो कंबाइन होके एक सिंगल सेल बन चुके हैं सो दैट मींस इन द थर्ड रो यू विल बी हैविंग वन सेल लेस ओके एम आई क्लियर चेक इट आउट चेक द चेंज विच इज अपेयरिंग इन सेल 1.5 ऑनलाइन क्लास हैव यू नोटिस द चेंज यस ऑनलाइन क्लास तान्या भानु महक हैव यू चेंज द नोटिस 1.5 इज मर्ज्ड विद द सेकंड थर्ड रो लास्ट सेल सो दे आर कंबाइंड वर्टिकली दे आर कंबाइंड वर्टिकली ओके एम आई क्लियर सो दिस इज द केस ऑफ रो स्पैन now let us study the case of false pan false pan is when you are combining uh, one cell with other in the horizontal direction like if i do this if i combine these two cells okay means i am moving horizontally column wise i merge the cells of second column with the cell of third column okay am i clear so here we can merge uh yes we can merge this the last row what we will do here come to the last uh td call span equal to 2 and type nil and eliminate this what i did is see carefully the third cell of the last row get combined with the fourth cell of the last row okay so they are combined in the horizontal direction so they are combined column wise so i have taken the attribute call span and uh, value i have taken 2 okay so let us save and see the browser view check it out online class check the result am i clear to everyone any doubt any queries no any clarifications you want everything is totally clear to all all right